Good afternoon. Um, as promised, somebody asked me a question on the um, comments to the last video that I prepared. So I'm going to kind of answer that question. I'm going to give you a brief tour of the tool called Tangent Templates. Really, really useful tool. Got a lot of features. I'll give you a little bit of a walkthrough of them and then deal with the specific question that I was asked. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen. That's really not helpful when you can't find your screen that you're looking for. There it is. Lesson for life. Don't have too many windows open at the same time. OK, so this is Tangent Templates. It is a great tool. It was created by a couple um, who are very uh, quite well known names in the KDP world. But this is the opening interface. As you can see, there's several buttons up here, all of which have a really, really useful um, function. That's the word I'm looking for. You've got your home button, your instructions here, some additional support here and some resources. Great layout, nice and simple. So to start with, this first page is all about the interiors. So as part of your Tangent Templates um, membership, subscription, whatever you want to call, um, you have a whole bunch of templates included, which give you the ability to prepare all kinds of very useful little low content books. All of these can be prepared in all of the different sizes that we make books in for KDP. You can mix and match your pages. So you can have um, some lined paper with some squared paper and graph paper. Um, you can have written pages along with some blank pages. You've got knitting paper. Gen genuinely, there is so much here that is so useful that you could make hundreds of books just without trying, just with some covers and some excellent interiors. I mean, they're, they're not going to, you know, they're not they're not going to wow anyone in terms of, you know, oh, my God, this is this is outstanding and breathtaking. But you can get really good, solid interiors, good, solid quality interiors with a quality cover that will sell. So even here, here we go. Recipe paper. They make your own little recipe books, garden paper, gardening trackers, book reviews, wine reviews. All of this is included with the Tangent Template subscription. You also have a selection of paper games. So you can add these. Do you remember in the last video I was doing um, drawing, colouring pictures so that children can colour in? Well, here you've got some games that you can add to your selection of colouring pages and move them, um, pad out your colouring book with activities. So it's not just a coloring book, it's a coloring book with activities, hangman, um, tic-tac-toe, num Sudoku puzzles, all sorts of things you could add in to your coloring pages and make an activity book rather than just a coloring book. I'm also going to do another video where I show you how to put your puzzles into coloring pages, which gives additional um, interest to those puzzles. So your, your person who's bought your book and who's using your book can do the puzzle on the page, but also use that page to color in. So some add some zen to it, some additional interest, make your books valuable. So don't just make a book, make a book and add value to that book. That is what will keep people coming back to your store and buying more books from you. If they know that the book they get is going to have um, fun stuff to do, interesting stuff to do that's going to keep the attention, but it's also different. It's not just a, a page with a tic-tac-toe. It's a page with a tic-tac-toe puzzle that you can colour around and doodle and all sorts of things. So um, that's where this is going with that. Um, November, there was, we had a, a thing last year where uh, for 30 days there was a new template produced every day for the 30 days of November and they were great great templates and have made a lot of books 
So that's additional. It's included in the price of your membership. And then you've also got the dynamic templates where you can actually create planners. So for this one, you can choose um, the day and the year that you want your planner to start with. And it will spit out a ready made PDF in the size that you want that you can then put a cover on and you've made a journal for next year. Um, the prompts one takes a little bit more work because you can put in your own prompts. So your own little mottos, your own quote of the day, that kind of thing. But again, it will produce a calendar style planner that you can then put a cover on and sell as your own. There is also the ability to um, just to personalize and make these things slightly different once you've downloaded your PDFs. Here we go to the designer, the second one. Right, so the designer, you can, you get to choose um, the size of your trim. So as you can see for the drop down, all of these different sizes of book are available. You choose whether or not you're going to put your bleed in. I always have a yes on that one because it makes life simple. And when you upload it, you can automatically say, yes, there's a bleed. And you can also choose how many pages you're going to do. And then you can begin by designing your own interior. And by what I mean by that is you could once you go into the next screen, you can then start picking different pages, different templates from the selection of templates provided in tangent templates and actually build your own individual personalized book. So you can have um, line pages, square pages, graph paper, music sheets, recipe pages, all of those things. You can put them together in any order that you like that you think is going to work for you and hey presto you've got a brand new book so that's that one um, the tangent builder is very similar um, I think also on the designer the designer page you can actually produce um, your own pages in that there's lots of um, squares and things that you can slide in and slot into place and it will let you build your own pages that way too so it's really really good it's still in the beta version there's still some things that need to be doing it you can add text different textiles all that kind of thing in there but it's it's still you're still a work in progress that one i haven't used it all that much so this one again is um you can reload a previous pdf that you've done or start with one and create a book from there the kdp helper this is where I get my um, I would the question I was asked on the previous video was where do you how do you produce the template that you can then overlay onto um, PowerPoint to create your the border. This is where you do it. You basically select your trim size. So whatever size book it is that you want to produce a thing for you enter the number of pages that you are going to prepare your book for. So if, say for instance, I'm preparing a book that is a hundred pages. There we go. I want it to be a white paper. I want an interior bleed. Yes. And then press continue. And as you can see now it is giving me a ready print, print ready cover template, which I just download. And here you can see it gives you a list of all the dimensions that you could possibly need in order to work out what your book size is going to be for your cover images to go on it. But if you download this, it downloads as a PNG file, which is, as you know, you can overlay onto other things and is clear in the center and only has the purple border around the edges. Um, and that is how I get mine. This way it means that I know that it's exactly the right size um, for the right number of pages, for the right kind of paper that I'm going to be using with the bleed, or if you choose without the bleed. But then you have to work out, make sure you're careful with what your bleed actually is. Do it with the bleed and you're always going to have the right size cover right size interior so you first of all you've got the interior and then if you look on the second tab there is the interior page which is now perfectly sized for a hundred page white book on 8.5 by 11 with bleed and there is your border all the way around which you can then download and save as a png file and then in powerpoint you just upload insert image 
into your PowerPoint. Quite often, I will open up a blank PowerPoint, I will insert the image and then change the size of the page because all of the information I need to do that is right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that is where I get my templates for that for. Then we have the listing helper. Now the listing helper is something you, <laughs> this is gold all on its own, okay? So for your listings, you can create, so say for instance, let me give you an example. Say for instance, you want to be able to create a series of um, journals. So you're, you know that you are going to create 10, 15 journals. They're going to have different covers. They might have different, slightly different insides, but they're going to be journals. So you can create a permanent journal listing in your listings. You can put in all of your description. You can put in your general title. You can put in, I always do it with the title of the first one I'm going to make, um, just so that I've saved it because you can then go back and adjust this slightly. Um, so you can put in your title, put in your subtitle, and it will give you a preview here of what your subtitle and title is gonna look like. You can then, um, as you can see, you can use some special symbols, you can format your text as you want it to. You can do it as HTML, type it all in here, so your description of your book, what the book's about, how big it is, you know, all of the things that you want to tell the customer about the book that they are going to buy that you are not going to be able to um, get across to them on the cover, for instance. And then you have your seven boxes for your keywords. So you can put in all your keywords here, you know, your long tail keywords. Um, and then you can also choose, put in your author name um, and then choose the categories that your book is going to be covered by. And then once you've done all of that, you can give it a profiling name, which is only for your use. It, that will never appear on KDP, it's only for you. So you can call it journals, yeah? And then you can make some notes here to keep track of what your partic this particular listing is about and then save it, okay? If you're using Chrome to access your KDP account, you can install this KDP extension. Yeah, this, this tangent template list helper extension is free. You can just upload it to your, your bar. Here it is on mine, right here. And then whenever you go into your, and you go to create a new title, If you look, right, it'll come up in a moment. If you look here, because you have the Chrome extension up there on your bar, you've installed it, you can then use the listing helper just by clicking on it. And it will then give you the list of all of your listings that you've done in the past. And you can then just choose that and it will pre-fill all of these boxes down here. It will do it for you. It will put in your book title, your subtitle. It will put in your author name. It will put in the category of where you want your book to be. It will pre-fill the description. That is a lot of work done for you. And then all you have to do is go and tweak those to the exact book that you are now listing. It will also have put in all of your, it will have pre-filled all of this and all you, and it will have chosen your categories as well. And all you have to do is tweak. So make slight changes, you know, change the colors that you've got in your keywords or, you know, if there's something else about the particular journal that you're uploading, add it all in there. Really, really, really useful. Such a time saver. It will help you to um, basically get these listings done quickly, simply, and with a kind of um, a structure and a format that is very similar. So you can actually start to build your brand look by how your descriptions, et cetera, are written because people will start to recognize, oh, this book is by so-and-so. You can also add, you know, details about who you are, um, other books that you have up, 
into your descriptions using the HTML function in the tangent templates um, listing in this, in the tangent tables listing helper. It's so useful, worth the subscription to tangent templates all on its own. Never mind the added value of the templates and the designer and the builder, this on its own saves so much time, it's worth every penny. Um, you've also got the category explorer. Um, the, one of the other tactics on the, the listing helper is if you type in all your keywords, etc., you can get it to suggest what categories your book belongs in. And more often than not, the suggestions are correct. And quite often I just go with those. Um, so here you can research what categories your book should belong in. You put in some basic words. So fitness, um, food, journal, search. And it will come up with some ideas as to what categories your book belongs in. Children's, colouring, it's going to give you some categories that you can then say, ah, oh, that's where I need to put my book. Those, those two would be good places. Then you've also got the pricing calculator, which helps you work out, um, before you even bother to upload, how much you could possibly add your book for, what you will make from it. So it's really worth using that. And then there's a, a few other tools on the extra page, which are, are, you know, again, really useful things to know, places to go to get to help you, like the DPI calculator, um, some additional places that you can go to, things like cover panels, um, the links to the trademark and the checker and the interior reference chart. So you've got quite a few other little extra tools that are handy to have all there in this package. This is, I am not affiliated with Tangent Templates. I don't get anything for telling you any of this, but I tell you now, this thing is worth having. It was one of the first things I signed up for when I started and I have never regretted it. It has more than paid for the subscription that I paid when I got into it, worth every single penny. And I use it every day with the books that I'm creating. Even if it's just to create a coloring page, I am using it for the templates that I download to use to, to, to create my pages. So well worth having. Um, there are other tools, which I will also give you a run through of like Book Bolt um, and, and others, myriads. And you can choose which ones you think are going to work for you. This one works for me. Book Bolt works for me. And that's why I've stuck with them because they're so good. I will put the link below in the um, description so that you can go and find it. And I'm also going to put a link in for my own um, cover website so that you can check out what covers I've got available. And I have lots. They are beautiful. I also have some really gorgeous interiors, which, you know, for the money that I'm charging for them, you will love and they will actually make you money they are so cute um and i also have some coloring pages up which you know support me by buying a bit of my stuff and i will keep producing some really good stuff for you so that you can see how you can make this into a really good side hustle so hope you're all having a wonderful weekend and i'm off to go and design some girls coloring pages take it easy everybody bye now